Hello friends. In this lecture, I am going to discuss the basic principle of this electrostatic machine. In electromagnetic generators, current carrying conductors are moved against the electromagnetic forces acting upon them. That is what the function or the principle of a generator. In contrast to that electromagnetic generator, electrostatic generators convert mechanical energy into electrical energy directly. The electric charges are moved against the force of electric fields. Thereby, higher potential energy is gained at the cost of mechanical energy. So the basic principle of operation is explained with the help of the figure which is given on next slide. So here we are going to consider an insulated belt. So I just consider the belt which is moving with a velocity. So this is an insulated belt which is moving with uniform velocity V. And this we are going to consider a distance dx. The moment of that belt is in electric field E of x. The supply voltage which is there is plus minus V and the distance is D. The width of the belt is V and the charges which are moving with a velocity V. The charge density here in this case is delta. The charge density in this case is delta. Consider a length dx of the belt and the charges which are there are dq. So for a distance of dx, the charge accumulation is charge density multiplied by the width of the belt. So whatever may be the number of charges there, that is in terms of charge density multiplied by the width so that therefore those charges are present on the complete width of the belt and for a distance of dx the total charges are dq so dq is equal to delta into b into dx so considering this diagram we are going to derive the equation so the force experienced by this charge or the force experienced by the belt let us say it is df df is equal to e multiplied by dq what is e stands for the electric field multiplied by dq now dq is e multiplied by delta into b into dx the value of dq is placed here integrate both the sides the integration of df gives you f which is equal to delta b integration of e dx now this integration e dx is nothing but the voltage and therefore f is equal to delta b multiplied by voltage v the power required to move the belt now this is what the power required to move the belt which is equal to force multiplied by velocity force multiplied by velocity force is f velocity is small v now the value of f is delta v into v multiplied by v where small v stands for velocity capital v stands for the voltage so now we know the basic equation of current which is dq by dt dq by dt which is equal to dq is again delta b into dx by dt that is what the value of dq right that is what the value of dq so it is equal to delta b into small velocity v so now this del b into small v can give us the power required to move the belt so that is p is equal to now del b into v means this one can be replaced to the current i and therefore it is v multiplied by 
i so the power required which is written as f into small v force into small velocity is nothing but the mechanical energy and voltage into current is nothing but the electrical energy so assuming no losses the power output which can be equal to voltage into current that is electrical energy so this way this basic principle tells us that the conversion of mechanical energy into the electrical energy so that's all with this class basic principle thank you so much